If you look at the additional growth of the Chinese economy relative to that of Japan, relative to that of India, I would say the transformation, even at a lower rate of 7%, is staggering. And that bodes well for the future growth of the Chinese economy. So, Dr. Gao, are you, are you saying then that countries like countries in ASEAN, countries like Malaysia, can still count on China for its own growth, for our own growth? Definitely. I think the China-ASEAN trade as of last year, already reached a total of 480 billion US dollars. China-Malaysian trade reached more than 100 billion US dollars. And this is against the background where infrastructure and connectivity between China and ASEAN countries are still relatively backward. China is promoting very vigorously this year and in the coming few years, the One Belt, One Road initiative, which is mostly an infrastructure and connectivity idea throughout the Eurasian continent and in Northern Africa and Eastern Africa. Just imagine one day, either with Chinese financial support or, as Prime Minister Abe mentioned this morning, with Japanese financial support through ADB or through AIIB or the World Bank, you have connectivity build up from the southern part of China in Yunnan province and Guangxi province all the way down through Vietnam, through Laos, through Myanmar, converging in Thailand, going through Malaysia and going all the way down to Singapore. I can really assure you there will be tremendous amount of productivity to be emancipated in the ASEAN region. And uh, China is helping Indonesia to build a fast speed railway in one of the largest islands in Indonesia and similar projects will happen in the coming few years. I actually do not care that much whether the operators, the builders, the financiers will be Chinese or Japanese. I do hope Chinese and Japanese can work together in helping the ASEAN countries to build up connectivity and infrastructure. Once that infrastructure is beefed up, the spillover effect in the ASEAN region will be tremendous. And allow me to say one point about one of the many dividends that the Chinese economy will get in the coming years, if not even coming decades. That is the dividend from the much more improved infrastructure and connectivity that China has achieved over the past few years, and China will continue to roll out in the coming years.